All right, so we are back here with Voodoo Ranger Juicy Haze IPA as opposed to whatever it is we did last time. Uh, let's see how this works, eh? Seven and a half percent alcohol, New Belgium. And let's see how it pours. All right, so this is a ton of foam as well. And it has the same kind of consistency, the same color. Probably about the same amount of foam, maybe more. It's pretty foamy. All right, let's see here. It's probably less... I'm getting a lot of foam here, hold on. Let me drink it straight from the can so I can taste it. Okay, yesterday's people were like, oh, it's terrible because it tastes like tang. And I was like, it's pretty good because it tastes like tang. This does not have as much citrusiness to it. So I don't think I can feel the ci or the juicy haze or what, well, is it even supposed to, what, what juice is it, right? It's, it's a beer, it's an IPA, you can taste it. It's a little, I'm not a huge fan of IPAs because it all tastes like soap to me. It's it's a good soap, you know. If if you're telling me juicy haze, I don't, I can't tell. It looks like yesterday's, but other than that, I'm not really feeling any juice in this. Let's see what the beer snobs have to say over on the Berry Advocate. Let's click here. I don't want to prejudice myself, so I loaded into to the search bar, but. Right, it is very good, 88 score. Uh, let's see here. Uh, here's a guy, 3.36. It's another all right beer. It's not too harsh and smooth. It tastes smooth. It's fruity, yet not overwhelming. Really good beer. Yeah. It's not fruity though. I don't. I don't taste the fruitiness. Uh, hazy yellow, uh, big white head, awesome retention and lacing, mango, grapefruit, and nondescript tropical fruit aroma. Now, I don't know about aroma, let's give it a good smell. Okay, you tell me it has mango aroma. I will, I will agree with that. Mmm. Yes, you can smell the tro you can smell the tropical fruit and stuff, but you can't taste it. Soft tropical fruit and citrus flavor. No. No, no, no. Medium light body with a fluffy feel and appropriate carbonate. Yeah, it's, it's okay. If uh, this beer had more hop saturation, it would probably be a perfect NE IPA. New, NE, is it New England? New England, is that what, because we heard that one before. It hits the appearance and feel perfectly. The aroma and flavor just need to be more pronounced, I, I guess. And this guy rated 4.09. Let's see someone rating it really bad. There's a lot of 3.8s, 3.87, 3.7, 4.13. Looks like a glass of mango juice. It does. Completely opaque, unfiltered IPA. Is it opaque? Yeah, it's largely opaque. Pale doughiness with citrusy hops. Again, tangerine and mango notes. There are no notes. Well-bodied with a grainy mouthfeel. Let's take a one really bad review. 4.2, 3.9, 3.37, 4, 5 out of 5, 4, 6, 6, 4, 1. Everyone seems to like this. Everyone's like, this is a pretty decent beer. There's nobody who's like, ah, this is disgusting. Yesterday, there were a lot of those with the uh, Juice Force or whatever. The one that do did taste a lot more tropical. So that's it. It's a decent beer. Eh, I like it. That's it. 